Dev Sani here for Queensbury Promotions, and I am joined by a social media influencer and the missus and the love of Tommy Fury's life, Molly May Haig. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good. So I introduced you there as Molly May Haig. Mm. How long until you're Molly May Fury? Oh, God. Everyone keeps asking this, but I think, I mean, we're literally only 20s, so not getting too ahead of ourselves, but hopefully not too long. <laughs> Have you talked about it at all? I mean, yeah, we talk about it because we know it's going to happen at some point, but obviously we've got other things to focus on right now, like the fight and loads of stuff. So I think get Christmas out of the way and then maybe we'll worry about it then, but not for a while. Like I said, we're only 20, so we don't need to be thinking about that just yet. Let's take it back. Let's take it back to Love Island. All right, so Tommy, I believe, was the first guy that you saw on the island. It was the, the, mm. the, the sauna thing, wasn't it? It was the jacuzzi. So did you know about the Fury fighting family at that point? Not really, if I'm honest. Like, I've never... I wasn't really into boxing before. Um, but obviously, since being with Tommy, like, I'm really into it now. Like, the other, the other night, I woke up at 5.30 to watch that KSI and Logan Paul fight. You could never... I could never imagine I'm doing that. <laughs> if you told me I'd be doing that a year ago, I'd have told you absolutely not. Um, so, yeah, if I'm honest, when I first met Tommy, I didn't really know much about it. But within a few days, he had me on the pads, so I'd try it out and stuff. So I've really gotten into it. And I go and watch him train, like, every single night. Like, I'm super, super into it now. So... Yeah, definitely learning a few things about well, boxing. We've seen you on the pads. We saw you on the pads in Love Island. You've been yeah. in the gym with him, in Hatton's gym as yeah. well. Not thinking about going pro yourself, are you? <laughs> definitely not. No, definitely not. Um, I think it's what Tommy's thing. I'm happy just to watch and support and cheer from the sidelines. Definitely not my thing. No. So December 21st, he's back. This will be the first time you watch him fight live. What are your feelings? Um, excited. People keep thinking I'm going to be nervous and scared. Obviously, it is a scary thing, but I'm so confident that he's going to win and I've got so much confidence in him that I'm not concerned. And he knows what he's doing and it's what he loves. And obviously, watching him do what he loves, how can I be scared about that? It's what he's passionate about and he's more comfortable in that ring than anywhere else. So I know he's going to be fine. And obviously, yeah, as his girlfriend, I'm going to be, it's going to be horrible to watch him fighting, but it's what he loves. So... I'd never hold him back from doing that, so I'm, I'm just excited. How much is boxing actually like on his mind? Is he like punching walls around the house and stuff? Twenty four seven, it's on his mind. Like every single, if he's not talking about it, he's watching it on YouTube. If he's not watching it on YouTube, he's training with his dad. Like he's constantly, it's boxing, boxing, boxing all the time, um, which is a good thing. It shows how passionate he is about it, and it shows how much he wants it. Um, but that's why I'm so knowledgeable in it, on it now, because I'm literally watching it all the time. Like, I'm always on YouTube with him watching it. So, yeah, he's just, he eats, sleeps, breathes it. He's obsessed with it. If there was one person from the island who you could have a boxing match with, <laughs> who, who would you you're have, a, to, have a fight with? You're trying to get just get that headline. Trouble. No, you're definitely trying to get me in trouble. There's enough headlines on me at the moment. Not going to have any more. Definitely not, no. Everyone in the island was great. And obviously, I always say to people, if, you, if I put you in a room now with 40 random people, you're not going to be friends with every single one of them because you're all from different backgrounds. Like, you're all from different lives. So you're not going to be friends with everyone. And I think that's a really important thing to know about Love Island. You know, we were in there with all different people. I'm not going to be friends with every single one of them. So, obviously, you take away the people that you're closer from there, and I'm still friends with a lot of people from there, but some people you're not, and that's just very normal. It's a very normal situation. Makes sense. We have got one task for you. So, as Tommy starts getting into championship fights, he's going to need to be dieting. He's going to need to be making weight. So, are you going to be able to keep him away from mayonnaise? Absolutely, yeah. I have been cooking for him, which actually made headlines the other day. I don't know if you saw about that meal I cooked for him. <laughs> I did, uh, but I mean, to me, it looked fine. I, I, I liked I'm it. I'm not even going to go into detail about that because, um, yeah, but I have been cooking for him and he's actually, you know, getting towards the weight that he needs to be. So I'm clearly doing something right. But um, he's not on the mayo anymore and, yeah, he's doing really well. Like when he gets something, when he gets his mind set on something, he's going for it and he won't like steer away from it. So now he's got his heart set on, you know, the fire on the 21st. So he, that's it now. He won't steer away. He won't cheat. He won't do any of that stuff. So he's, um, his diet is on point at the moment. Yeah. Good. Well, well, we'll get Tommy TNT Fury firing on all cylinders. So tell everyone at home, why should they come along on December 21st at the Copper Box Arena? Um, it's going to be an incredible event and I think as well because of this whole Love Island situation it's going to add a really different thing to boxing I think it's going to bring people from all over the UK for different reasons like more of like kind of the thing with KSI and Logan Paul fight like it's a YouTube scene it's an influencer scene it's an Instagram scene and I think with this fight on the 21st it's not just going to be a boxing scene it's going to be social media as well so I think it's going to be a really mixed event and I think it's going to be absolutely incredible and obviously Tommy Fury for the win so I think it's going to be great Thanks for talking to us Molly Thank you, Thank you.